Stephanie Moskover here in Miami, Florida at IT Expo East 2012. And I'm joined today by Ron Burns, CEO of Proton Media. Ron, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So why don't we start out just talking a little bit about who Proton Media is, what you guys do, what you offer. Mm -hmm. So Proton Media is the maker of a product called Protosphere. And Protosphere is a 3D immersive social collaboration platform for the enterprise that's a hosted cloud platform. And we're very excited this week. In fact, we announced the launch of Protosphere 2.0. Great. And uh, so we're very excited to be in the market with, with a new kind of idea around unified communications and learning. So unified communications is, is an immense space. And the social collaboration part of it has definitely become very prevalent uh, in the past couple of years. Mm. How do you guys fit into the social space? So Protosphere is a 3D immersive environment where you assume an avatar and you walk into a space. And each space is actually a Microsoft Link conference call. If you think about our work lives, we've been putting phones in the rooms for years and making calls. Right. We've made the virtual room, in this case, actually an always-on dial tone, if you will, leveraging the Microsoft Link Unified Communications platform. Each avatar actually connects to a SharePoint Server 2010 user profile, and we leverage the power of Expertise Location Finder. So social networking to us in the enterprise is, is about expertise search. How do I find people that know things that I want to know very quickly based on their expertise? So in our environment, it's very much about nonlinear connection very quickly over time and distance. So I can search through SharePoint, see someone with the expertise that I need, invite them to a room, and then we're collaborating, we're working on documents together, and the artifacts of our collaboration are left behind in a persistent way in SharePoint. So the value actually for our product is not just the real-time communications, but also the persistence. Um, we don't think collaboration is just about meetings. Sure. We think it's about creating content in a, in a co-collaborative kind of way. Couldn't agree more. And I think we see people being kind of slow to adapt to the whole video conferencing concept. But obviously, it creates a number of benefits, particularly for businesses. Um, how do you see um, things changing for the virtual world? Well, um, what's interesting is we do support video on our product, uh, high definition video, live video, stored video. So video is a part of our story. Right. But what's interesting is we have found that enterprise customers don't want to be on camera all day necessarily when they're collaborating. Right. There's a time when a, a presenter wants to be on camera and it's appropriate. But uh, particularly large enterprises that collaborate across multiple time zones, it's not uncommon for someone to want to do a session from their pajamas at 4 o'clock in the morning. So we think it's really valuable to be able to be a perfectly coiffed avatar in that situation. Yeah. Be relaxed at home in your pajamas. Do you think the whole um, concept of the avatar really helps people to transition into it more easily? Well, I mean, I think it's actually a bit more profound than that. I mean, we see people uh, actually interacting at a higher level when they're an avatar than when they're a name on a list or a video. And really? We think there's some interesting psychological things going on there where you sort of create this external sense of self. You become the observer and watcher of yourself with other people. I mean, we actually have hard data in a case study we did with uh, a large pharmaceutical company called Merck and Company where the uh, feedback was, I was able to communicate with people I wouldn't ordinarily talk to, that senior VP of R&D or that senior scientist. But somehow in this environment, I felt more comfortable to ask questions. And right. conversely, presenters said, I got higher quality, better questions in this environment. So it's sort of a, a so the avatar is sort of a social leveler, a flattener of culture. And when, that, when you're dealing with a very uh, sophisticated, knowledge-oriented industry, we think that's profound. No, I think that's a great point, though. Many people are intimidated by the whole image that's, uh, that goes along with it. So I'm sure that that really helps people to you know, rest assured that they can be themselves and really give a, a proper performance. Um, what do you see as being the biggest trends right now in terms of, of unified communications and conferencing? Well, <clears throat> clearly we're a Microsoft ISV partner. We've made a huge bet on Microsoft Link. We've also made a huge bet on, on SharePoint. I think the interesting trend we're seeing is that Unified Communications for some time has been sold as a technology platform into the IT department of a large enterprise. Um, as an ISV partner to Microsoft, we don't go there. We go to the line leader in the business, right. VP of R&D, VP of sales operations. We make a solid business case that, look, your company has made a decision to collaborate with an ecosystem of partners to build this complex product. You can't do that in WebEx. So we're making a very solid business case, which then pulls through some of the unified communications value proposition, which we think has been hiding in, in, in the IT department without a story and a way to appeal to the line leader. So our view is unified communications is coming over a chasm, actually, into broader adoption. And the adoption is social collaboration in the cloud. Right. 
Now, in terms of the future, obviously with technology advancing and the market changing, how do you plan on, what do you see going forward for Proton Media? Well, a, a big a part of our R&D effort is around 3D data visualization. Um, we're working with Microsoft Life Sciences around uh, connecting Protosphere to the Azure cloud platform. Uh, often people will say, what's the value of 3D? Why, why is this better than a WebEx or a GoToMeeting? One of the things that really makes a lot of sense is business intelligence and data visualization. There's a problem with big data. How do you look at huge sets of data, whether it's tables, molecules in a life sciences context, deep oil well drilling data for the gas and oil industry? How do you visualize that data? To visualize data dynamically from the cloud source and have that socialized with avatars looking around it, we think really will validate this concept we've had for some time that spaces together, shared spaces, are the way to really do work. Great, well it seems like you guys definitely have your work cut out for you. Uh, best of luck with the release this week at the show, and thanks so much for joining us, Ron. Thanks for your time.